Now, we're going to put uh, pistons into the engine of this 1939 Farmall. And we've already used shims uh, on the rod bearings. Yeah, we've already adjusted them up. And we know how many shims is needed to have the correct oil clearance. And we have the rings already put onto the piston. And what number piston is this? It's number two. Number two, as mm -hmm. indicated by little markings. Yeah. Uh, that's found on the found right there. Right there. Number two, and when we say two, that's two from the front of the engine. Front of the engine. <laughs> Number one piston is already installed. Yeah. Probably not torqued on yet, but installed. Yeah. So this is number two. So what are you doing here? Well, <coughs> I'm greasing up the. <coughs> Putting grease uh, lubri plate, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, lubri plate. I always use that lubri plate number five because that that is a good grease when you're overhauling an engine. And I've greased up the. Uh, I put some grease on the cylinder sleeve in there because this is the only engine that you got to put the pistons in from the bottom. And the sleeves are chamfered, so when the sleeves goes in, it'll compress them. It'll compress the rings instead of using the ring compressor. So how do you know when you put them in whether you got them upside down or right side up? Like, uh... Obviously this could set on there either this way or it could be turned this way. How do you know oh, what's correct? Just keep in mind which way it goes. Which way does it go? Towards the numbers cam. face the cam? Camshaft, always. The numbers face the camshaft? Yeah. Always? Yeah. Okay. Those rings probably fit pretty tight. Yeah. One that's already done. Yeah, I actually need a screwdriver, I think. A screwdriver. What do you Moving the rings a little bit so they fit a little better. I think, I think I've got the top ring started. Let me feel here. Ah. They're tricky to get in. Now I got the I got the top one started. You just got to shake a lot on every one of them. Yeah. I got them all started now. Okay. This got to... Just got to keep it shaking it until mm. it goes in. I see. Now, 
We still got number two on this side, didn't we? Yes. Number two right there. And it faces the cam, which yeah. is up yeah. inside of there. Yeah. Now, oh. okay. Let me get this on here and we'll, we'll, uh, Needs a little more, don't it? No? Okay. That happened on the other one. The bearing fell out, but that's all right. We can get it back in there. Now, Bruce, if you'll take the... Mm -hmm. If you'll take this hammer... Use the handle. Use the handle. Okay. Yeah. Okay, hold it right there. You got to slide that bearing still in there, don't you? Yeah. Got to slide that bearing in there. <coughs> we'll grease it up a little. Ooh, maybe we come down too far with it. Okay. Well, maybe we need to come down a little more. It didn't go all the way around. A little more, maybe. clicked in place. Now I'll go put this. Wait, wait a minute. Let me, let me look here and see. Yeah. Everything's good. That felt solid. There it is. So now we put the bolts back through. Yeah. Those bolts matter which one goes on which side? No. No, as long as this flat part is next to the rod. Okay. And sometimes they're a little tricky to get in because they fit pretty tight. Try it on this side. Yeah, that can come right on through. Okay. There you go. We may have to use a hammer to knock that through there. Did we get it? Yep. Yeah. Not quite completely, but pretty close. I had to draw that. Now, we take these shims that we adjusted here a while back. Remember which side they go on. Yeah, we put the thicker shims on each side of the little ones, didn't we? Now, we didn't drop another one down in there, did we? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Nope. Okay. It don't matter which side the shims goes on. Now, the older engines had these shims, and uh, that way, if your bearing got worn, you could just take a shim out and reduce your oil clearance. That's right. That's right. Pretty good thinking, so you didn't have to go buy new bearings because a lot of people didn't have stuff like that back in the 30s. Now, you see this? Show them that tip right there. I, I see that, yeah. The pan has got troughs in it. And uh, the engine, when it comes around, 
it dips up oil out of that trough. The oil pump su supplies oil to that trough. So uh, this is number two. And also the two matches up with the two yeah. right up here on the same side facing yeah. the cam. Okay. And then these would be torqued with the castle nuts to the correct torque specification, which do you know what it is off the top of your head? No, I don't. <laughs> but the owner's manual will tell you that, or you can find that information somewhere. Well, thank you very much, Buster. Okay.